It is such a nice sunny day outside that I really want to do today's Sweet Tooth Thursday out there, but it is so bloody windy you wouldn't hear a darn thing I said. I'm all alone today for Sweet Tooth Thursday for a couple reasons. One, today's item is going to take a little bit of explaining first. Two, the kids are all the way at school or kindergarten right now. And three, I don't want to share. <laughs> I have got what's called Madeline, 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 Madel, Madel, whatever, but it is not just regular, it is. Well, it has Takana in it. Okay, this is where the explanation comes in. Takana is a... Actually, I forget which kind of plant it is. I'm gonna go look it up, one second. Okay, yep, I'm right. Takana is a kind of mustard plant, and in Japan, they take the leaves and pickle them. I love Takana, it is fantastic. I mean, I can just sit down with a big bowl of rice and a big Tupperware thing full of Takana, and that's my meal, and I'm happy. Maybe throw a little bit of mayonnaise on top. Oof. Man, I just had lunch and already I want to eat more because I'm thinking about this. Pickled Takana has a pretty strong flavor. It is not a mild pickle at all. It's one of the things I love about it. So I was shocked when Kumiko and I stopped in at this little uh, cake store and they had these Madeline or Madeline or I'm really not gonna get that name right am I? With Takana on them and I'm fascinated by it. I'm a little scared by it and I really 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 want to try it. It was, it, was like a, it was 150 yen, a little cake store. It's this little place down on Route 208 in Omuta. No, just off of 208, just come to think of it. No, it's on 208. Sorry, that's where 28 meets 209. It's just off where 28 meets 209, if you're looking for it. It's in Omuta, in Fukuoka Prefecture, on Kyushu, in Japan. If you're not around here, you're never gonna get it. So Takana is, is uh, quite, I think Kyushu is famous for Takana. Oh, come on. And actually the best Takana in Japan is made by my next door neighbor. There we go, I found a little notch to open it. Other than the Takana on this, I think this is just a regular little Madeline cake. I can't even smell the Takana. But apparently at that store it is very, very popular. I just don't know how this strong pickled flavor is going to mix with the sweetness of the cake. <clears throat> and I don't know how well me having crap in my lungs is going to translate into making a decent video. Hmm. I don't know, it smells a little bit different than a regular metal whatever. <laughs> Madeline, Madeline, metal. But I um, can't really say how. Looks good. Nothing to do but try it. Baking it onto the uh, the Madeline, Madeline, Madeline cake must really mellow out the flavor because I don't get the really sharp, strong bite that Takana usually has. It tastes delicious, it tastes sweet, it tastes good, it's flavorful. I don't really get the pickled Takana flavor. I mean, one thing different is that regular Takana, after you have brought, taken it out of the pickling jar or whatever it's being preserved in, you, know, you <clears throat> clean it all off and you're supposed to fry it in oil and that uh, keeps it better long after you've taken it out of the pickling solution, bath, whatever. This apparently was fried in butter, so that's gonna change the flavor somewhat. Shouldn't make it this sweet, I wouldn't think. Well, I guess all the sugar in the in the cake. I got a bigger piece that time, I get, I guess I get the suggestion of the Takana and it works really well. That is not something you would, I would ever, ever have thought of putting pickles into cake, but it works. I don't think I'm ever going to do that at home. I'm not going to take the Takana and, and put it into my baking, but I'm willing to eat it when someone else does it. Mm. I just, I just cannot remember the name of the store. So if you want to find it and you're in Omuta, drive north on 208. And when, if you go straight, you go to 209, but you split off to the uh, left to continue on to 208. It is just after that split on the right, little cake store. If you go past Komedi, you've gone too far. If I go back there, I'll probably have to get another. That's good. Weird. Well, just the idea is weird. The taste is not weird. The taste is fantastic, which I still find weird. Don't worry, the kids will be back joining me next week for Sweet Tooth Thursday, or maybe even Sweet Tooth Saturday this week if I can just get my butt in gear and do one. I really feel there's something missing if Kai and Nina at least aren't aren't sitting here saying bye, Grandma. Well, bye everyone. <laughs>